faces out, and standing next to me is one of the biggest deep threats in the NFL, Robbie Anderson. And now we're in the 954. That's Broward County, in case you didn't know. And we are going to talk football, fashion. He's going to give me a tour of his sneaker collection, and he's going to open the doors to his house, too. So let's go inside. Beauty. First and foremost, your closet smells amazing. Okay. <laughs> do you have like 50 pairs of Air Forces? Why do you have so many Air Forces? Because I don't know, like when you wear them one time, they just don't look the same, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then it's like I got other ones, like if I'm just like, if I know I'm going to the club, I probably wear a pair I wore before because I know they're going to get messed yeah. up, you know what I'm saying? But, and then too, because like I guess in the mall, you can't really get them, so I just like, I like to keep them in stock because I wear forces like they go with anything, you know what I'm saying? Facts. You could wear all black with a pair, so I just like to keep them on deck. What is your favorite pair of J's? These right here, the uh, OG Black Toe 14s. I had these growing, like this like one of the joints I remember most growing up, but they had came back out, I want to say like 2014, but this was flat. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't like it. so. It was like actually hard for me to actually find this particular pair. Like I had to go on, I think I had to get them on Go App and Bid. But like this part right here, you know, the OG part, whatever, I don't know if it's a baseball or stripes, I don't know what it is, but it's just like the shape of the shoe. Like, I don't know, I just always was in love with it. What is it about Jordan in general that you think just puts them above other brands? I don't know, it's just something everybody grew up on, so it just yeah. stuck, you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a good shoe, like it can go, and you can really put it off, pull it off with whatever you want to. So I don't know, I, it's just, it's Jordan too, you the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? That's so, the next thing I was gonna yeah. say, do you think there will ever be a brand that's as influential as Jordan? I mean, Michael Jordan, you're only ever gonna have one Jordan. It's hard because it's like, you know, Kobe and LeBron, you know, they GOATs too, you know what I'm saying? But their shoes is like hard to wear with like, jeans and yeah. pull off with a fit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can wear Jordans with a fit, like, easily, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I think that's why it's, like, really hard. And then it's, like, you know, 10, 30 years from now, when we older, gonna be another Jordan LeBron, but it's Jordan Jordan. Talk about this. The box itself is insane. Yeah, that, I mean, that's... See, this shoe, when it came out last year, and it was... this. You know, Dunks really, like, rebirthed themselves last yeah. year. So when it first came out last year, I was like, I wasn't really, you know, smelling. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> really want them and stuff. But then, you know, I started, it kind of grew on me. Then I was like, if I'm gonna get this shoe, I gotta get the box, cause that's like, that's what make the shoe the shoe for, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, and how I got my room set up, I got all the shoe boxes laying, I'm like, this'll be a nice decoration. So that's really like, I haven't worn them yet. I got a fit waiting for them, but that's what really made me. I was like, if I'm gonna go all in, I'm gonna go all in. What is the biggest mistake people make that you think when they cop shoes that have a lot going on, yeah. whether it's you know in the pattern, whether it's in the material, what is the biggest mistake that you think that people make when styling them? Is it trying to like match every color on the shoe? Trying or? to do too much. Like to me, how I dress is like, if I got like my clothes do a lot, I gotta let my shoes do a little bit. If my shoes do a lot, I gotta let my clothes do a little bit. And don't be trying to, you know, bite my swag. I know y'all be doing that, but <laughs> I give y'all a little cheat code, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like somebody will probably wear this shoe and like be trying to do a whole lot like colors and match it perfectly, you know what I'm saying? Then it's gonna look kind of like you throw it all off. Like your shoe doing a lot, let the shoe speak for itself and keep it simple. Like you really could pull this off yeah. with black tee, black pants and a nice hat or something. It's kind of like a piece that. of jewelry, right? Like mm -hmm. essentially you don't need to have, you know, the craziest fit on if your your chain is your statement piece. The sneakers mm -hmm. are a much like jewelry in that aspect. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. I can see, real comfortable. Yeah. Um, so let's talk a little football. Sam Darnold, a guy you know pretty yeah. well, your quarterback when you were on the New York Jets, is right. now your quarterback in Carolina. A lot of people are kind of 50-50 on if he ever got a fair shot yeah. with the Jets before they kind of just washed their hands of him and moved on to the next younger quarterback. What yeah. is your opinion on that? I mean, my honest opinion, you know, me being a first hand is that, you know, he didn't come into a good situation. You know yeah, fair. Coaching wise too, so and you know, I just don't think like it was the right place for him, you know. Honestly, I just don't think it was the right situation for him, the right system, 
right pieces around him that just wasn't, you know, wasn't a match made in heaven. How do you expect him to do and how do you expect him to come in to Carolina, a new situation for him, and take on that leadership role? Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, I hope the best for him and I expect the best for him. And I think that it's a good situation that he's coming into, you know, with the coaches, you know, the environment, the culture, the team, and the people around him, the pieces around him. So, you know, I think, you know, my wishes for him is for him to become the best, have his best year that he's ever had. And I think that he will, you know. PFF actually left you and DJ Moore off of their list of top wide receiver duos. How does that make you feel? <laughs> uh, I don't be caring about none of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and DJ, we won't we we be caught up in all that because we know how we stepping, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know, it just be funny to me for real. Like, I don't even know who really be making them pages. Like, they play <laughs> yeah, football, the list, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I don't really... If I cared about things like that, I wouldn't be where I am today, you know what I'm saying? Because I always been slept on, so I don't really be in, like, pay that no mind, for real. Winning a championship, like, for our team and organization and our, our supporters is really, like, what we go for. We ain't really, like, focusing on doubters and things like that. That's, like, really, like, wasted energy, you know? And, I mean, speaking of somebody who has experience winning in Carolina, we got to talk about Cam Newton. Yeah. He was the style king in Carolina. Now yeah. that he's gone, who is the most stylish player on the team? Um, <laughs> you know, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I think I, think I got the, the You're crown, taking the, the crown the there? The crown okay. for the Panthers now. All right, everybody, I'm Ashley Nicole Moss. This is Robbie Anderson. Robbie, you were the first guest on Laces Out. How does that feel? Hey, they going on, it's gonna be high expectations. High now. expectations after everyone who follows you. Yeah. And you will always have a special place in our hearts because you were number one. Appreciate so, it, appreciate thank it. Thank you for letting us tour your closet, your house, chatting it up with me, and we'll see you guys next time.